PC yes. Mac headquarters. This is brand new RAM for the the Mac Pro, which is down here. This is the mighty Mac, but it's not so mighty at the moment because it only has one gig of RAM, even though it has a four core system, four core processor in it. So we're going to upgrade this to four. Maybe even five. Maybe right? even five. Yeah, possibly five because there's already a gig in this and there's four in this box. And so I think it'll allow me to keep it. Yeah, maybe a lot. VMware Fusion's croaking. Look at this thing. You click on the window, boop, goes right to the middle. I can't even get my window back. <laughs> I'll just pause this machine. Um, suspend. Done. All right. Well, anyway, we are going to shut down this Mac and then. Close. We're trying to shut down the Mac anyway. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, some VMware Fusion stuff. And then we're going to put in the RAM. We're yeah. going to crack open the case. Show you how to do it. That's how you do it without a knife. Yep. Alright, what's this thing look like? That's, this is from Newegg, by the way. This is RAM. Alright, what is it? Transcend. Much cheaper than Apple memory. <laughs> cool. All right, let's yank this box out. Where's the RAM at? It's in there. I've just never removed these things before, so let's see what we got. There's the memory card. I've got a second one in here. This is a 512 and a 512. Now, actually, I need to look at the manual to see what the bank situation is here. Uh, if, you, if you ever wondered what kind of manual do you get with a Mac Pro, this is it. It's less than the size of your hand. And it's a tiny, tiny little thing. At least it's all in English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's not five languages in it. Yeah, but. kudos to it being in English, but still. For how much does this computer cost? $2,500. $2,500. This is the best manual that you get for a Mac Pro. Little tiny thing. Now, we're checking right now. See if there's yeah, anything the about memory. The memory bank situation. Is, it, is that in the, uh, the appendix section? No, I've seen it before. It's right up. Let's see, it's. I don't know, I'm right near it. PCI card. Internal backup battery. It's right in here somewhere. Because I saw it the other day. Optical. Hard drive. Ah, here we go. Second pair of additional DIMMs in the second bank on the first card. Okay. That should be okay. So I guess you can put it in. So you can install additional pairs of da, 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 the Oka DIMMs. It should all go on the first card, so we're going to see all right. if it does. All right, there it Here's is. one of the sticks. Let's open this thing up. Ah, here we go. It looks the same. Should be okay. So it just goes in. It looks like like normal memory. Let's do this. That was uh, easy. Springs loads. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Seat number two. Yeah, it was nice and easy. And like normal memory, it's keyed slightly off center, so you can only put it in the correct way. And that should, if so, if the manual is correct, that should be it. So this is five gigs of RAM now. Yeah, five twelve, five twelve, and a two gig and a two gig. Okay, well, I've never heard of a five I know. gig system. <laughs> this so is we'll odd, see if it works. We've got an odd number of RAM in this Mac now. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looks like it's got a little rack for it. See how do we get this thing to go? Ah, there oh, we go. That's all right, it. that's it. Yeah. Before I put the case back on, let's just crank it and see if it actually doesn't blow up. Yep. Yeah. Make sure everything's still plugged in. All right. And go for it. 
Okay. This is the screen which should light in a minute because it's. There we go. So far, so good. Let me go to utilities. What do we got in here? Activity monitor. System profiler. Let's see what this does. Oh, there we go. Five gigs. Five I gigabyte. see it. it Hold works. on. Let me zoom in on that. There we go. Dual core, Xeon 266, two processors, five gigs. So this is the odd RAM yeah, number. Yeah, I've never had a five gigabyte machine, <laughs> but there it is. Well, that's it. That's how you put RAM in the Mac Pro. The case is still open. We're going to put that back on in a second, but we took out the card and, well, actually, Dave took out the card and put it in and we booted it up and. It's pretty easy. I, I think this machine will actually accommodate up to 16 yeah, gigabyte. That's it. 5G's. We're doing good.